Okay, now we're going to look at the limit of a constant. So instead of x, we're the lim uh, uh, sorry, not the limit, the derivative of a constant. So let's look at the graph of a constant. This would be something like y equals a, meaning a is just any number. For instance, this, this example, or you could have a specific example where you had y equals 3 or something like that. But we're just going to keep it general for now. So y equals a. So this is what the graph would look like. And this is the a. So the height of this graph, you can think of it as being a, this, the, that height. And a could be negative, so it would be down here. So here, I guess we're assuming a is positive. Um, if a was negative, it would be below the x-axis. But anyways, it's just a horizontal line. Right? And what did we, if you've been watching, we already talked about the slope of a horizontal line. If you, if you, let's, let's talk about it right now again. If you pick two points to find the slope of this line, you'd have, this would be x1, x2, or sorry, y, x1, y1, and x2, y2. So those would be those two points. To find the slope of the line, you would just do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what happens? Well, the y values are the same. They're just a both times, right? We already said the height of this whole thing is a, and it's, the height isn't changing. So y2 and y1, the heights are both a. So what we end up with is this is equal to a minus a over x2 minus x1. x1. And what this ends up being is 0 over the difference in x. So over x2 minus x1. And, and, that, and x2 minus x1 isn't 0 because the, these are real x values, x2, x1. They're different numbers. So when you subtract them, they won't equal 0. But 0 over any, any number is besides 0. So 0 over this is going to equal 0. So the derivative should be of a constant should be zero because we already know the slope of a constant at any point is zero. So let me let me show you that then. We just figured out the slope of a constant is zero. So the derivative d dx of I'm just going to call it a meaning any constant like and and a constant is just a number. I hope I hope you you realize that that term just means a number like 1, 2, pi, 3, 100 million, it doesn't matter. The derivative of a constant is equal to 0. Okay, that's, that's as easy as it gets. Let's, let's do an example. The derivative with respect to x of 3. Well, this is just 0. 3 is a constant. The derivative with respect to x of, of pi this is a constant so this is zero what about this one this one is kinda tricky I think people uh, people get confused by this once in a while the derivative of e squared so e is the number e I, I hope you're familiar with it, it its approximation is 2.718 I, I believe it might be 0 0.78 I'd have to actually look that up but um, and it's a special number, it's an irrational number, but it is just a number. E is a constant. So you have E squared. Well, E squared is just a constant also, right? A constant raised to a power is just a constant. So this is actually zero. Some people see this and they want to do the power rule, 2E. But you, you can't do that. So this is the derivative of a constant is just equal to zero. Let's do another example, D dx of... 30 pi. And again, we just this is just a constant. A constant times a constant is a constant, so 30 times pi is equal to 0. Right? Pi is an irrational number, but it's just a number. It's not a variable, it doesn't change. Same thing with e. Okay, so that's that's it. The derivative of a constant is a constant. Or sorry, the derivative of a constant is 0. Okay, so so that's an easy rule. See you in the next video.